Hey y'all, it's Monday now, July 6th. Tomorrow, the 7th, is my birthday. It's 65. So, today is Michael Shreve's birthday from Santana originally. He started playing in that band when he was 16 years old. Well, the other news of the day, unfortunately, is that Ennio Morricone has passed away. The, um, the master of uh, soundtracks. Um, he is the inventor of the Spaghetti Western. I don't have those, but I do have some Ennio Morricone. I, don't, I grabbed a couple because my soundtracks are out of order. I need to kind of clean that spot up in my collection, but here's one, Rampage, never saw the movie, no interest in the movie. Definitely love that soundtrack. Have no idea what that movie is about. Here's another one that I bought. Command, Commandamenti per un gangster. This one I got, oh, in the last couple of years as a reissue. A nice reissue on interesting vinyl. Morricone was a master uh, um, composer. He seemed to be able to adapt most any style of music to his needs. Rest in peace, Master Morricone. How y'all doing? You folks that tell me about yourself, I do read. I do read your, uh, even if I don't say anything in the comments when you write and tell me things and you take a few moments I take a few moments to read. Thank you for sharing. I think what I'd like to say in general is that I just do appreciate the true human camaraderie that appears to be going on here. I mean, that's my intention. And that's what I'm getting back from a lot of you is that you feel comfortable and um, I dare say you probably feel accepted in this realm that I create when I make these videos, because it is, it's like I'm creating a space with my vibe. Something I learned a long time ago, then this does relate to race. Racism is something that's on the table and has, must be dealt with. But I learned a long time ago how to make myself comfortable in different situations with different kinds of people, um, places where I was obviously not welcome, I learned how to make myself, I learned how to take it with me. So I know that I, I give up a vibe. It's on purpose, you know. I don't want to give off bad vibes when I'm in a bad mood or when I'm, when I'm upset and have something to say, you'll hear about it, but the, I don't want to be angry. I just want to move through it. Yeah, it, it's cool hearing from all of you other collectors who have these cool records. It's nice to know about folks who have records above and beyond the Rolling Stones and the Beatles. You know, uh, that's not a diss. It's just that, damn, you know, there's a whole lot of other shit out there. Someone asked me if I knew about the glyph, Hector Zazu, um, Harold Budd. Yeah, there it is. I have a 12-inch single, too, a remix from this. Yeah, this is beautiful. It's been a while since I played it, but yeah, I love this. I love it. I love it. So I'm just going to just flow because some days, oh, I need to shave. Some days are more of a flow than others. I'm not in control. I want to piggyback on um, one of the records I showed yesterday because I went back and played it some more. Let me just find it. Yeah. Piroshka, this is damned good. I went ahead and bothered to pay attention to the lyrics because I kept noticing in Mickey's voice this, this, uh, this, this, this tension. It's like, you know, it's like I'm trying to say something and I listen and she's talking about what's going on. Wow, this is right on point. She's talking about Black Lives Matter. She's talking about total corruption of politics on here. 
That's my girl. This is this Parashka Brickbat. Mick Conroy, bass player, my friend. Get this, people. Wow. I was just okay. That's why that's why it's hitting like this. Because they're on point. They're not dead yet. They're not boring old farts. They still care. Wow, Parashka. A real pleasant surprise when I put it on last night because I was just digging that music. I really like this music. And then I like Mickey's voice. I like Lush. I've got some of the records. More of it on CD. But I just kept noticing this edge in her voice. It's like, listen to me. That's what I heard her saying is, listen to me. Cooler than shit. Let me just take a quick peek and see if I can just scope some lush to show you where well I've got a few dang it I that is one thing about collecting and getting old is that you sell stuff I'm at a point where I don't want to sell nothing because when I looked at my lush it's like ooh I sold a bunch but I still not, not lush well I've got luscious luscious Jackson too <laughs> getting mixed up Got Naked, Naked Eye. That's a good song by Luscious Jackson. You know that band. But I still have their first um, singles, Lush. And these are great. Scar. When I first heard these, you could hear they couldn't play very well. But there was something happening with them. Some A charge. Some energy to the music. Lush. So yeah, I'm all over the place when it comes to music. I'm thinking about some of the comments that people have made people ask and then someone asked about the fact that I just um, keep moving when it comes to music I'm listening to music a lot and I rotate a lot of stuff and I'm listening to a lot of stuff over again that you don't hear about but I do keep listening um, to me it's like education it's, it's, it's entertainment but it's education listening is learning for me and I'm all over the place so here's some stuff that I played yesterday. Oh, well, let me get this out, because again, I'm just vibing, I'm just flowing with whatever comes up. Yesterday, I, um, well, you know, yesterday was Sunday, so I'm not expecting nothing, but I go to sit out, sit out on my front uh, stoop, and there's a package from Amazon. I forget the person's name, but they wrote me an email and said they wanted to send me this record that they thought I would enjoy. And they were right, Nicholas Godin, or Godin, Concrete and Glass, from the band Air, the French band Air. This is his uh, new solo album, Concrete and Glass. This is pleasant. This is, to me, this is like pop music for rich people. That's not a put-down, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like music for people with money. Um, it's very nice and pleasant. It's pop music. It's what it strikes me as. It strikes me as rich people's pop music. Again, that's not a put down. That's a that's a that's a description. I like this. Uh, the vocals I like the least about it. The music is very nice, but I like Hot Chip so much that when the song came on with Alexis Taylor singing "Catch Yourself Falling," I noticed his voice right away because I really like Hot Chip and I like the sound of his voice. Hot Chip is badass. I like, thank you for sending this to me. It was a pleasant surprise yesterday. Okay, so some other records I got played. Um, my phone, this phone's getting on my nerves. Yeah, I had a visitor. I had my, my friend Blake, he's like I said, he's like a son to me. And he stopped by, he needed to talk to me. That's what I'm, you know, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm kind of a dad to the city. A lot of people, a lot of musicians. I'm glad that I can provide, you know, some people I won't give the time of the day because it's just a waste. But Blake is someone who is um, young, extremely intelligent, um, has struggled with uh, drugs, I mean, pills but he's so brilliant. 
And that's what's interesting about artists. A lot of smart and smart people, the inner struggle to have so much on your plate that the, a common person wouldn't understand. This is just one of the most fantastic records ever made. Julian Priester Mpepo Mtoto Love Love. Ostinato repeating groove that just bores a hole in your head and is just so cool and funky and this album cover is perfect for it it's like yeah new horizons baby something different is going on here um this is like taking the things that miles started and claiming it for your own this is one of the best it's on ecm this is not a typical ecm album this one broke the mold this is just one of the most when i whenever i posted i posted it last night and I get up and people are still raving about it this morning. People who know about that album know. My tastes are all over the place. They are. So I listened to that last night and I listened to this Zool band, Potemkin, Fetus. Zool in the tradition of the music of magma from France. That's Zool is a type of music. And I love it. And this is their first album, I think. Love that cover too. Tri Triton, which came after, I like. I like better. Listen, here I go. <laughs> I listened to some more fun funky, hard stuff last night. Friends. If you can find this album, this is amazing. This is a reissue on Carolyn. A friend of mine bought it when it first came out because we were big into John Abercrombie, the guitarist over here. First found out about him in the band Dreams. But these other guys all are great players. The drummer Jeff Williamson, Mark Cohen on sax, Cliff on bass. Um, this is not recorded well. They didn't, you know, it was recorded in a shitty studio. But sparks are flying on this whole album. This is monster fusion. Uh, friends, amazing. And the folk art. They, there's a little bit on the back about the artist, the folk art. This is amazing. Killer, killer. Now I'm listening to all that jazzy fusion and then it hit me that I wanted to hear the song Vapor Trail by Ride, completely unrelated. Some people consider them shoegaze. I don't like that term shoegaze. I don't like, I just, labels get on my nerves. Then I went ahead and played most of the album because I really like this. Ride, nowhere. And I got to see them live when they went on tour with Slow Dive. And I got to party with them. And they were really nice. Andy, Andy Bell, Mark, they were really nice. I mean, they were very inviting. It was almost like I knew them. It would really, it, it, was, a, it was a surprise. I mean, they really, really were welcoming. Not just to me, but pretty much every, the, the whole party that after the show here in Omaha. It was really fun. And talking to Rachel and uh, the other main guy from Slow Dive, um, they were still gobsmacked to have uh, worked with Eno and talked at length about that with me. I also have this, Going Blank Again, Ride. I didn't play it last night, but I have it out because it's good. Anything else that I did haven't shown? Well... I just want to say it again. I when I do get new stuff like new records, I do make sure to absorb them. And this new little dragon is very, very good. Very good. Very, very good. That's about what I want to say this this morning. Um, it's the beginning of a week, new week. This is an, an important. All birthdays are important, but 65. You know, you get your Social Security. It's always been uh, significant to me that my birthday is the same day as Ringo Starr's. And this is a big one for us. He turns 80 tomorrow and I turn 65. I feel very blessed to still be alive. I feel very blessed to still look like Derek. I'm looking at myself as I talk, as I make this video. And it, it's, I'm still me, you know. It's like I'm 65, but I still see the Derek that I've always seen. And I feel blessed. And 
I intend to continue to be very outspoken and verbal about um, the change that needs to happen in this country, the ending of systemic racism, to quash the idea that there is a... My phone, I got to do something about that. Um, this whole inequity and injustice, I will not stop speaking out. And I challenge you other people, especially you white people, you may say that you're not racist, but when you hear stuff and you don't say anything, I'm challenging you. Because racism is taught and we have to, we need to eliminate it. It's not serving a good purpose on this planet. So speak up, okay? Let's, let's, get, let's get to work.